Hello, my name is Tom Harpersberger, and today I'll be showing you some of the different selection tools in Photoshop and which selection tool I feel is best necessary for my example. Um, so from the second from the top, there's the, the marquee tools, which I won't be able to use um, to draw the outline of the girl in the picture here. Um, there's also the lasso tools. The first lasso tool, it, it's basically a free form hand tool, which you can draw um, whichever you way you want, and when you connect it, it makes the selection based on what you drew. Uh, there's also the polygon lasso tool which draws straight lines and when you interconnect them it makes them a polygon. You can see there. You know, press control D to deselect an image. Um, then there's also the magnetic lasso tool which it's it works better if there's solid colors but in this picture um, I'll show you in a second. Um, it basically it, it grabs around the image and I'll just I'll show you real quick. I'm not going to draw the whole thing. It's harder to get around the fingers using the magnetic lasso tool. Even with a small feather, um, it's still pretty hard to do that, so I won't be using that. And you, you can press Control Zero to uh, have the picture fit to the screen. Um, there's also the quick selection tool, which it grabs um, some of the colors around what you, you clicked. And this didn't really work as well either. I'll zoom in a little bit, and I can either here I can select this. And I can make my brush size a little smaller, and also I'll show you that it's still a little bit harder to uh, grab around the pixel or grab around the fingers with a click. And you can either press Shift and click to make a selection, or Alt click, and it gets rid of that selection. And you can still see it's it's still pretty hard to select in between the fingers there. Um, so I didn't feel it was necessary either. But the best selection I felt was necessary was the magic wand tool. And it grabs the picture, it grabs the colors that you selected. So if I were to select the sky, it will mostly grab the colors of, of what I selected. So the, the, mostly the, the whiter blue. And if I press shift, click again, it will grab the darker blue. Um, but I'll show you just from that one click without even much effort, just one click, Oop. it did grab around the fingers pretty well. So I can just go back to the quick selection tool and grab around the spots that I didn't select. And I'll go back to the picture make sure it's fine. From my side it isn't. So you can see part of the hand is gone, or it's selected and the finger selected. So I'll go back to magic wand tool and deselect the parts on the hand, holding control and click. Get some of that hand not, not selected. Get that finger. Okay. So everything but the human is selected at this point, so I want to go select inverse and they'll make everything that's selected not selected and what's not selected selected. So by clicking that, the, the human will be selected. And I'll be dragging that to my other picture. And it's a cliff. Um, it'll make it seem as if she's jumping into the ocean. So I can either go to Edit Transform or just press Control T um, and hold Shift while dragging her so the picture doesn't get distorted. Make it a little bit smaller there. Press OK. Now when I zoom in, you'll notice that all our fingers are there. I mean, there was a string of hair in the last picture, but I mean, it was really blended into the background. But you can see for the most part, even if I uh, defringe, it should make it a little bit better. Yeah. So you can still see the fingers in the hand. Although the picture isn't, it doesn't have a big resolution to it, so it looks a little blurry, but you can mostly see that everything was selected, and uh, yeah, that's why I felt it was best necessary to use for my example. 